Hi everybody, this is David with Juiced Right. Today I want to talk about the heritage of our machines. Um, the first Juice Right machines came out 2013, 2014. Uh, we called them as we come up through um, time, the Revision 1, Revision 2. Revision 3 machine, the newest one coming out is the Revision 4, and I'll go over that in another video. So first I would like to talk about the Revision 1 and 2 machines, and how do we tell the difference between them. So they were basically the same machines, not too much difference between them. They all had the bolt-on guarding. In here we have the um, coupler style machines, where they have an alignment coupler that actually um, is a protection for the hydraulic cylinders. Uh, we had a fully enclosed shredder housing. Uh, the shredder had two and three horsepower short shaft motors and then towards the end actually went to a long shaft motor with a third bearing and I can show you that. Actually, we'll insert a picture here-ish. <laughs> Short shaft versions don't have the third bearing on the inside. The long shaft versions do. They have a third carrier bearing. It's beneficial to the motor because it seals the motor from moisture intr intrusion. It's also a third bearing to carry the load of the, of the shaft and the, and the actual shredder plate itself. Uh, added quite a bit of longevity to the motor. Um, the came with uh, Allen Bradley buttons and switches. They have the black bezels here. Uh, little, there's no lighting, no nothing in the, the e-stop. And one of the things about this closed housing is that it was not difficult, but it did require the tool to install. If you have one of these, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that you successfully install the blade holder without dropping it or dropping it through. Uh, that's the main differences. It did, originally it came with plastic bearings, bearing sliders on the, on the um, sliding platen. This one's actually been upgraded to the aluminum bronze. And, uh, well, it was actually our test horse, so we actually have some capped bearings on it. Typically it doesn't have capped bearings. The, R3 on the other hand, this is actually a refurbished machine. Uh, one of the products that we have is to take R1, R2 in its very raw condition and totally upgrade it to our to the highest level of Revision 3 machine, which this one is. This one was actually a looked a bit like this one when we first got it in, and now it's had all upgrades available. So the new shredder housing, you can see it's real easy to get the blade holder on and off. Uh, of course, the screw needs to go inside there. The, you actually have full access behind. Real easy to get the blade on. The shredder housing drops into place. Clamps up like that. In between batches, you can actually reach in and actually clean it out. It's perfectly okay to park in this position. Super easy to use. Uh, Next major upgrade would have been the capped bearings and the aluminum bronze. Uh, capped, uh, bearing caps actually keep the, the platen from being able to have any angular pitch if you have like hard mass at the bottom. Half loads or when you stir or especially when you're using ginger, it's a, um, this keeps the platens coming together nice and flat and even. So that was a big, big change for these machines. We went all the way up to these uh, Siemens controls. They're, the waterproofing of them is way greater. The uh, longevity and life of the buttons, amazing. All long shaft three horsepower motors. We moved, you can see real quick, moved the safety switch from the top in kind of a vulnerable position over here to the side. And we had, it's a rectangular really out of the way. Another big change is the couplers we talked about on there are gone. They're in a, a clevis style, uh, kind of like a, a cross pin clevis style, uh, real rigid, um, very robust. Um, change that bolt on 
bolt-on guarding to a real easy to remove like slotted guard to allow you to get in there really clean. That is a uh, basic upgrades. This right here, uh, when we do a full refurb on it, go completely through the electrical system, completely through the hydraulic system. Most often the machine's taken completely apart and repassivated. So it's a very shiny, new, sanitary, uh, comes to you with a limited um, one-year parts warranty. Uh, that is the basic differences between the two. We think it's a, um, quite a bit of an upgrade and it's available to all of our customers who have the original machines that are starting to show wear and tear. So hope that answered any questions you may have. And uh, you know, feel free to contact us if you wanna know more. Um, www.juiceride.com and uh, happy to talk to you anytime. Have a great day.